Hey, this is Deeksha from Bonsai Labs and welcome to today's video on customizing the app bar component in Material UI. This app bar component is often used to convey your brand, to show current screen name, or to give a seamless navigation experience along with some action buttons. In this video, we are going to look at how you can add an app bar to your app and customize its look and feel by changing the color of this app bar to any color you want. You will also change the color of the text you write on this app bar. And I will show you how you can make this app bar flat without any shadows that are baked into the theme. Let's open Code Sandbox and create a React project. We will add a Material UI dependency and another dependency for Material UI icons because we will use an icon in the app bar. All right, so now that we have the dependencies, we will remove this boilerplate code and this app component will instead return a div containing app bar from Material UI library. We will keep the position sticky so that it's relatively positioned. Now, if you want to put a certain number of components within your app header, then Material UI also provides a toolbar component, which is a wrapper to place all the elements horizontally. Inside this toolbar, we want to add an icon button component that can hold a menu icon. So we have the icon button and we have the menu imported from icons library. Just so that the color of the icon is visible, we will provide the color prop with value inherit and also add a typography with variant H6. This refers to heading 6. We will add a label my cool app and that's it. Now, this resulting app bar has the purple color coming from Material UI default theme. The app bar API gives you the color prop with a set of predefined values. You cannot use color prop to provide a color of your choice. You will need to customize the material theme that comes with it. But if you want this app bar in a different color without touching the existing theme, you can do that by providing the style prop and add a background color property to it. Let's say we want the app bar in pink color and it turned the color to pink. Now this white color of every element inside this app bar is really not cool and definitely not good for accessibility purposes. So we can even change that by using color property inside the style to have a black color. And there you go. The material icon and the text both are in black. Sometimes you need a flat app bar with no shadows or depth. With material UI app bar, you can do so by having this box shadow property and have its value zero pixel for all the coordinates. And let the background color be transparent. And that way you will have the seamless app bar with all sorts of customizations. If you don't want to use this inline styling here, which actually might not scale in complex projects, their styling solution is pretty decent. You can pretty much link all the styles with a component using the hook pattern. So you can import make styles from this library it's a function that takes as input two parameters. A styles object, it could also be a function if you need access to the theme, but we are not using theme, so we will stick with the object. And copy all the styles we provided to app bar right here. Now this make styles returns a hook, which as per the convention, we call it use styles. We can call this hook to get the CSS classes right within this component. Since we want to apply those styles to app bar, we can use class name prop and with value classes dot header. Well, it's throwing an error because by mistake we removed the import for typography. So let's put it back and there we go. So this is another way of customizing the styling of your app bar. That's all I wanted to cover in this short video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.